it, so I just went and got uh, all the bins, and I'm going to solder, use the soldering gun to put a bunch of breathing holes. I'm just going to put a bunch of holes. Got this gun here. Smoking's bad. Don't ever start smoking. Okay, so I just use this gun. You want to do this in a room with a window because it starts to stink. You don't want to inhale too much of that. So I just like to make a bunch of even holes down one side or both sides. I got 20 containers to do, so this might take a while. So I'm about halfway through. Still got a lot more holes to go. Some people choose to make it all perfect. Mine, not so much. Just kind of random. It's just for them to be able to breathe. These containers are going to always stay here. I'm going to have a new rack built. Especially for this size, I got a little bit smaller because uh, the baby bows didn't need as big as containers as I had done in the previous rack. Also, there's 20 babies in this last litter, so I have to accommodate for that. separating them into groups or individually. Some people like to leave them together, they say it makes them more social, so I leave them together for a bit, and then I like to pull them apart so I can monitor any ones that are having trouble. So yeah, we're going to put some water dishes in all these, and then probably start putting some snakes in there soon. We got everyone with paper towel in there, holes on the side. Now I'm just putting some clear tape on there so that I can label them like I did here. Keep track of who's who. This is how many times they've eaten. That's the gender after I've probed them. And this is star means that they've shed once. So I'm just putting labels on there too. I went and bought some small water dishes because I forgot when I went and bought the bigger containers. So I got some of these. For now we're just going to keep the lids on. As you can see, I'm probably just going to stack them somewhere around here. But it's already a crowded room. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can make any space. And then uh, me and my buddy are probably going to build up another rack system. And I'll try to keep you guys updated on that. Okay, so it is now the next day. Uh, well, the next night, and I've separated everyone. So, you can see I haven't quite built the rack yet. I got, uh, what's that? Six, nine, twelve, fifteen up there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little slow right now. And then I put the last five there. I also wrote on there what each one is, uh, an appropriate number for it, just from a tracking database. And uh, I've been spraying them down nightly. They're all single. And we're just going to keep an eye on them all. Let them go through that first shed before feeding them. And so these are the ones from uh, about three weeks ago now. They're three weeks old. Let me just turn it to close-up mode for you. About three weeks old, so 
They're a little bit bigger than those guys in there. Uh, these ones all have had three meals, so they're starting to pretty much they're double the size they were a month ago or three weeks ago. Sorry. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep track of what's going on here and. Uh, there's lots more videos to come, lots more stuff I gotta show you guys, so stay tuned. And always check betterboa.com.